Okay, so you want to learn how to start a Facebook page so that way you can grow your business and reach more people on Facebook. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. So my name is Wade McMaster. Um, I'm a, basically I'm a web designer, blogger, internet marketer, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your Facebook page. It's dead easy. It's uh, just a simple step-by-step -step process, and we get it set up so that way everything's ready for you to get started and start reaching people on Facebook. So before I... I'm not going to go on any longer. Let's jump in the computer and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just uh, now logged into my Facebook. Um, this is my personal Facebook, so you can see there's a few things that are blurred out here. But um, basically, if you don't have a Facebook profile, just head to facebook.com and sign up and sign up for a personal profile. After that, you can log in and you'll get a screen similar to this. Obviously, um, if you're brand new to Facebook, you probably have less than this. But um, this is just your basic fee that you land on for you at home. So um, basically, in order to start creating this Facebook page, the first thing we need to do is actually go to, if you scroll down the left here, there's a section here that says create, and you can click page. Or I do believe if you come down here, you can click create page here in this little drop down up there. So I'm just going to click create page here. You get the same effect as if you click it down, uh, page down there. So click create page. Now you've got a few options. This depends on well, what you're doing. So if you're actually a business owner and you're looking to start a, a Facebook page for your business, I highly recommend going here because you can insert your address, all your details and that sort of thing. Or if you're a company, so you basically it's worth just sort of trying to figure out which one of these is it's basically the best fit for you. And you might get a few slightly different uh, options depending on which, which you choose. If you're just like a blogger and you're just starting a website, entertainment here, you can actually scroll down and choose website here so if you're actually just starting a website you want to promote that's a good way to start um, and you've got a few other options here yeah, if you're creating a movie or if you're creating a page based around movie character you can choose that there and of course if you're creating one for yourself and you or if you're a public figure or an artist you want to basically pick this section here so this really depends on what the page is for as to which option you're going to choose so for now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just choose a brand or product. I'm going to create one for a website. I'm not going to get live with this one, but it'll show you just exactly what we're doing. So we're going to call it Flavor Industries. Now, if you haven't been watching any of my videos, I've actually we're going through a process. I've shown you how to create some images and a logo and that sort of thing in uh, Canva, just for basics, so that we can actually put this together. I'll be using those images that we created. So we're going to click get started on that. Okay, the first thing that I want you to do is to basically add a profile picture. So, like I said, I've actually, you can pick any picture you want and uh, it'll allow you to crop it into place. But we've actually created some pictures on Canva. Like I said, if you want to know how to create these images uh, that we're uploading, just check out below uh, in the description or in this uh, page that you're watching this video. I've got some links to that uh, those videos we created. But basically, we're going to click Upload a Profile Picture. And the, this is, these are the pictures we created. So uh, as you see here, I've actually created an ID photo, which is perfectly square. Now, if you have a photo and it's not perfectly square, you can choose something that's a little bit off. Like, for instance, uh, for the sake of this video, I can actually choose this one, and you can actually crop it down to size. Um, I do want to choose this photo because if you have a photo that's purposely made, it's going to fit perfectly. But just for the sake of the video, I'll show you what happens when you actually get to crop the image. So I'll just click on this one here. And now I want you to add a cover photo. So I'm going to upload a cover photo. Same again, we've created one in Canva using the setting there. You can choose images that are of different size and proportion and they will allow you to crop it in place but for now we're going to stick with the Facebook header. As you can see you can one thing I do recommend if you do create a page do go ahead and invite your friends to like it. It's probably a good idea before you actually do, uh, go through with this step it's uh, it's a good idea to actually write a post but it, it works just as well. If you invite a, or you invite a bunch of friends straight away, you can then go and create a couple of posts so that, that way when they go to the page, they can see that there's actually something going on. But um, I 
this is definitely a good step to get at least your first few fans onto your page. Now, because this is a test, just a video I'm shooting for you guys, I'm not going to actually um, go through this at the moment, so I'm going to close that. Now, for some reason, our cover photo hasn't shown up, but to show you what I mean, at the moment, we see we've got our image that we uploaded. I can upload the photo again, choose the ID photo. As you can see, we can actually drag and reposition and crop. So I want the whole thing in there, or I can, if I want, I can zoom in and choose an area. It's actually pretty handy. So I can actually save that one as our purpose-made ID photo. Now the cover photo, I did add a cover photo earlier. Here we are, it's actually shown up now. Um, as you can see, we've got a nice cover photo and ID photo for our page. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Once again, I will upload it just one more time just so you can see. And this is how you would upload and change your photo in the future if you ever wanted to update it. As you can see, it's fit right in. But if I choose a larger photo, much like before, you do get the position, the option to reposition it uh, so that it fits nice and central. So that is basically how you, f you first get your, your page started. But there's a, there's a few areas you do want to fill out. Like I said, you do want to create a post, like uh, you know, now on Facebook. Maybe you want to share your website, check out our site at www. For now, I'm just going to use one of my other websites because I don't have a website for Flat Industries. So we'll go, uh, we'll build your blog.com. And we'll just, um, we'll just share that for now. So we'll publish that. As you see, we now have our post up there with a link. If I gave it a bit more time, I could have given a preview, but that's not really important for now. We're just trying to basically get this one up and running. So we've got a post up on our site so people can see where we've been actually using the page and uh, the page has started. So there's a few other areas you do want to work on. Uh, one thing is, first of all, you've got this button here. If you do have a website and you want to send them to your website, or if you've even got a page you want to use people, send people to so they can sign up for email newsletter or whatever you can actually change this button to suit now this depends on what you want your Facebook page to do you can set people up to, to, to book a time with you to contact you it can be uh, any one of these things like send an email that sort of thing you can go through uh, learn more about your business it could be a video it could be a, a URL so let's say it's contact you and you want to send an email you click next add your email address and go from there it's pretty straightforward it will guide you through step by step you can also like i said send them to your website so learn more about your business learn more next you can add a website link there so it might be you know www.flade or you want to include your http at the front so maybe it's flate this isn't a website i own by the way but you can send people to your website with your button so for now let's just put that one in there and now we've got a nice little learn more button here that people can go, oh yeah, this page looks pretty interesting. They may be willing to then go through and click this learn more button. So you can see it's pretty simple. There's a there's a few areas here. You can keep reviews on, you can turn reviews off. Um, so there's a few options you might want to go through. First thing you want to focus on obviously is your about page. If you don't have much information on your about page, then you're not really, you're probably not going to, go very far people are going to want to investigate and see more about your page before they like it so what you can do we've got the category we've got the name you can actually write a story quite simply tell people about your business you can add a picture at the top maybe you want to add this one again because I don't have another picture ready you say we are flayed <laughs> and then you can write your little story like you know started in 2002 etc etc write your little story publish it And you can see now we have a little story here. And just to go through the same thing, you basically can put your start date in by clicking each particular uh, section. You can add a mission, type in what it is you want to do. If you want people to contact you by phone, you can add a phone number, email, website. Obviously, if you're trying to get people on your website, you definitely want to add your website on there. And it's just a simple case of going through one by one and just adding a bit of information if you've got products. You can enter products in here. 
about a little bit about us. I'm not going to go through and do a hell of a lot right now, but you can see here. I could, I could spend 10 or 15 minutes here in this video. I'm sure you don't want to see it. Just adding in these bits and pieces. So the way you get to that page is just simply, if you're on your page, you do want to just click the little drop down here, go down to about. And then obviously you can create events. You have videos, there's a community section there. Um, reviews, that sort of thing. Like, ba basically the page is ready to go. Um, now, if there's anything you do want to change about this, you can go into your settings at the top right here. I highly recommend just scrolling through a lot of these settings. You can do things like, uh, I've created videos on these two, which I'll share below, how to yeah, respond automatically to people who send you a message on Messenger, that sort of thing. Uh, this can be handy if you're not on Facebook a lot of the time. You can set up auto responses when people contact you saying, you know, please email me if you want a response sooner. Just give them an idea of how long it takes to get back to you. You can change the order in which things are listed on the page. I can move the about page up, that sort of thing on that uh, left tab there. And uh, basically just go through. You can po choose to post as yourself or as the page. Obviously, you, there's, so, there's just a whole bunch of options here you can turn on or off. Like a page mention, if someone mentions your page, you can turn that one well, someone, that one's already turned off, but turned on. But if you don't want to hear about it, you can simply turn that off. And it's really quite simple. If you want to add another ad administrator, for example, if I want to add in um, you know, someone who's already liked the page, I would simply type in their name and go from there. So it's pretty straightforward. You can add in add administrators here by typing in their name and adding it's easier if you get if they like the page first they will get a notification if they don't like the page they may not even know you've added them so there's a it's one of those weird situations with Facebook so um, that's basically it like it's pretty it's pretty straightforward once you create that page you just simply want to go through check all these options like I said I could go through it with you but we could be here for a good hour or so while I explain everything and it's all pretty self-explanatory so um, that's it. We've got, our, we've got ourselves a Facebook page. We've got it linking off to our website. So uh, we're good to go. So if uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Like I said, it's very straightforward. There's not a lot to it, but it is good to go through and just especially setting up that about page, inviting your friends, uh, just checking out your settings. You can, uh, I know you can turn off reviews somewhere in your settings. So if you don't want reviews, that's fine. But uh, it's, it is good to have reviews on there because if you're doing good work, you want people to be able to um, publicly acknowledge that. So uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, we've got more coming on building a website and getting your presence online. So please, if you liked it, subscribe below or tick the little bell icon as well so you can get notifications when we upload. And I uh, hope to see you again next time. Thank you.